Hello Transport Evolved fans, we're uh, here with Nikki and Mark. Hello. Uh, Mark's driving the... Um, driving? I'm driving. That's a new thing, I think we should keep that. We're driving. It's like a distant, a different, uh, like a, a combination of trying and driving. We're, we're driving the, <laughs> the Smart for Two ED. Um, and Mark, you've never been in a smart car before. No. Um, it's good, it's interesting. It, it's definitely different to all the cars I've driven before. I've never been in something quite this enclosed, I guess is the word. Yeah. But I, I like this car. I could, it's not bad, is it? I could see if, if I lived in a, a big sort of urban centre rather than in the pokey little village I live in, it's a much better way to get around, I think. Yeah, it is not bad. Um, I think what we're going to do, I've just come up with this now, because this is our first, we've got this for a week on review. Mark and I happen to live close enough to each other that we can effect effectively share a review car when they come down. Um, so Mark's going to drive this today um, to our production meeting and uh, we're testing it out. I think what we should do is we'll do I iPhone um, like taster videos, on our first impressions of cars. Yeah. And then... Um, once we've done our first impression, we'll actually do a proper review. Um, it's going to be left at the lights. Sorry. Okay. Um, but, uh, I mean, this is slightly bigger than a smart car, um, a regular smart car. Not that you'd notice, um, unless you park one side by side. It's got this wonderful space age sound, doesn't it? It does. It, it's, not, it's not a whoosh. It's not the kind of whoosh. It's like a low hum. Yeah. Which is very cool. It's going to start up in a second once I... I'll see if I can... Uh, here we go. There you go. You can hear it. Like a woo. Yeah, yeah. Almost like it's like hovering. It's that kind of sci-fi hover sound. It's quite cool. It's quite cool. Um, tell us about the flappy paddles. It's got flappy paddles. Um, obviously not for gears, um, but it controls the regen. So you can go all the way down to essentially zero regen, which is now my foot's off the throttle and we're coasting. Um, and then I can, I won't do it now because there are cars behind me, but I can, I've got two settings above it, kind of like a normal, almost leaf style, maybe a bit more aggressive than the leaf style regen, and then ultimate regen, which is amazing. It's just like, it brings you to a proper dead stop. Now, something I noticed last night driving this car for the first time is that the brake pedal, uh, the brake lights don't come on when you've got it on maximum regen. Ah, interesting. So, um, at least I don't think so, and unless it's, you know, a certain type. So, but now if you're going down this hill, you can actually set it up to maximum regen, because it's... Uh... Maximum regen, that's maximum regen, and I'm slowing down too much on this hill. Really? Yeah, I'm going to have to use the throttle to control it a bit. So that's how strong it is. We're going down, a, I think this is a 10% incline it just said. Yep. And the maximum regen is, is slowing me down to a stop. Now, this car's got cruise control, which is quite nice, which is unusual for a smart car. Not very many smart cars that I've driven have cruise control. Um, you've got heated seats, two-stage heated seats. You've got a telematic system, which unfortunately we can't test, which is usual. Um, Mercedes-Benz didn't give us a 22 kilowatt rapid charge or fast charge version, which I'm very upset about. So we won't be able to do, we had plans to take this all the way to Millbrook in um, Northamptonshire. Um, is it Northamptonshire, Millbrook? Right. But, there. Yes. Somewhere in that vicinity. Bedford. It's in Bedfordshire. Okay. Yes. Millbrook, I think, is in Bedfordshire. Um, apologies to those who live in Millbrook. <laughs> um, we were going to take it to Millbrook um, for a test day, but unfortunately, because it doesn't have the 22 kilowatt charger, we ain't going to, because we can't get there easily, and we're going to have to take my leaf instead. And there, um, there'll be no form of rapid charge on this car without that. There's... No, the 22 kilowatt makes sense, makes this car make sense. Um, I think it's about... £1,500 more, maybe £2,000 more. Okay. I, I, I don't know. I'll have to check the price list. But, um, yeah, it feels a bit a bit neutered without the, with just a 3 kilowatt onboard charger. Anyway, um, that's kind of our driving impression straight on here, Mark. Okay. And uh, we're going to go and have a production meeting and uh, expect a proper review later. Say goodbye, Mark. Goodbye, Mark.